Paperback Parade 105, the 105th issue, hot off the presses from Gryphon Books. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and here's the latest issue of Paperback Parade, my magazine that I've been uh, editing and publishing for the last uh, probably 30 years. It's a 100-plus uh, page trade paperback, full color, $15. And uh, we have a lot of great articles this issue, uh, and uh, a lot of rare and uh, really cool uh, color covers of uh, various books that uh, you may be interested in. I'm sure you will be. Uh, each issue of Paperback Parade has a uh, paperback talk. Starts off and where I have letters and uh, talk about uh, various new books and magazines that have come out, new issues of magazines, uh, different books. We also, uh, also do interesting things like uh, you know, you see like a true crime magazine, and then later on the artwork was used on Convention Girl, a Beacon book. So we have a lot of that kind of thing to show you different cover swipes and things. I'm um, going to give you a just, a, just a rundown on what's in the issue, the Cherry Delight series. Um, I, um, I, I wrote a, a detailed article listing all the books in the series, and here's a few of them. Uh, number 12. Fire in the Hole. I, they're all by Glenn Chase. Um, number 13, Over the Hump. And uh, Crack Shot. They have photo covers. They have art covers. Uh, Glenn Chase was um, uh, Gardner F. Fox. They're all like a, kind of a sexy female James Bond, Good Girl Arts, Lee's series. And they're really pretty cool. The article lists all the books... The article lists all the books in the series and um, talks about the different books in the series. And the uh, next article is uh, uh, by Tom Lesser. He looks at the British uh, pedigree books. Tom uh, is the subject of one of uh, the videos that we did before because he puts the, uh, the, the great uh, Cal California, Los Angeles uh, the LA show on uh, each year and uh, next year and uh, March 8th is going to be the uh, 41st year. And uh, some of the pedigree books, here's just a kind of look at some of them. All the pedigree books, I think there's 46 of them, they're all shown in Paperback Parade in this issue, but here's just three of the, uh, of the covers just to give you a, a taste of what they look like. They're really, really cool. Morgan Wallace gives us a look at the Detective Thriller Library. Uh, that's a, a two-book series, uh, British, which um, he goes into a, a lot of detail on the stories and the uh, publisher and the authors, and uh, it's, it's an uh, excellent article. Matchless Paperbacks by Richard Green is a uh, interesting article where he uh, he's a matchbook collector, but there's a lot of matchbooks that have advertising for uh, different kinds of paperback books. And in this one, he looks at um, the uh, novel uh, The Cost of Living by Rob, Rob Roberge, or uh, Rob Roberge, uh, which is um, uh, shown in a, um, in a in a match book cover, which is uh, interesting. There's a lot of uh, match book covers that uh, were uh, used uh, to advertise uh, paperback books. Uh, Heroes in Hell series is an interesting series. Uh, started out by Janet Morris in 1986. Bean Books published them with um, with uh, David Mattingly cover art. They're really great uh, cover art and great stories. The, uh, the premise is that they've picked everybody that uh, you can think of that's famous and they've placed them in hell and had them dealing with hell and, and, and uh, the devil and uh, all kinds of uh, nefarious situations. All the, all the covers are wraparound. The first one is Heroes in Hell from 1986. It's a wraparound cover. Mattingly did some beautiful cover art on these uh, Masters in Hell back cover art. Explorers in Hell, David Drake with uh, Janet Morris. 
And it's just a really cool series. And the, the books, all the bean books are shown in there, in that uh, article. Ed Edgley is a uh, crime uh, noir author, and uh, Tom Cantrell gives us a uh, detailed look uh, at his um, his books um, in, in, in his article. Um, the, uh, the books are uh, from uh, early on in the vintage paperback era, early ace doubles. He did some of those and uh, some digests and the various other books, some under the pseudonym. So uh, Tom's article really goes into detail on, on those and uh, they're, they're very interesting uh, books, very good crime novels. Uncle Abner, Master of Mysteries by Richard Kellogg, uh, is a uh, is a look at this um, early uh, kind of uh, almost like a Sherlockian kind of uh, detective, um, by uh, created by Melville Davison Post. Um, uh, Richard gives us a detailed look of at uh, at Post's life, his work and uh, his stories and the various books and pseudonyms. Um, Philip Harbottle uh, gives us a great article on A.A. A. Glenn, who was a British author of pulp fiction, and it, uh, it details the, um, the original uh, 50s books that uh, Glenn wrote, and then the new ones that are reprinted. And, um, and the Regency romances are Again, uh, that the uh, lists um, by Ken Johnson, Regency romances are shown in here in a, in a really nicely detailed article by Ken Johnson. My Lord Vampire and other Regency era um, historical romance novels in paperback. And he takes a good look at the different ones and uh, lists the ones that are uh, the key books in, the, in that genre. That's a kind of a uh, subgenre of romance that uh, a lot of people are interested in. So that just gives you an idea of, uh, gives you an idea of uh, what's in Paperback Parade number 105. Uh, hope you found something that's of your interest. This is the first time we've really done it. Kind of a detailed look at uh, what's in the issue, the contents and all, and um, I hope you uh, find some things of interest and you'll try an issue. It's fifteen dollars. Its um, subscription uh, is uh, is thirty is forty dollars for three issues, or uh, seventy five dollars for three issues outside the United States. And you can find information about how to order in our description below. It's uh, available on uh, ABE, eBay, uh, Facebook usual places and my website. So with, uh, with that, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. I hope you uh, found something that, uh, that interests you and something that you'll want to take a, take a trial on Paperback Parade and read it and uh, enjoy it. And uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up and a like and uh, a subscription to Paperback Parade and a subscription to this, uh, this YouTube video. Again, thanks for looking and see you next time.